What's up you guys? It's Sarah here and today I'm back with another video. Before we get into the video, make sure you follow my Instagram and Twitter. If you haven't already, they're both at HarrisAmmel. I'll put them in the description below. My hair is like, why is my, look at my hair. It's like sticking up like alfalfa. Cool. So today I'm going to be talking about my Dancing with the Stars live experience and how it kind of went wrong. If you remember, uh, in my What I Got for Christmas video, I said that I got Dancing with the Stars VIP tickets. It was like my favorite Christmas gift. I was so excited to meet the cast. I'm a huge fan of Dancing with the Stars. It was like two days before the show. I was so excited, like, got my outfit all packed, got my outfit all ready to go, thinking about my makeup looks, thinking about my hair looks. And my mom texted me, because my mom uh, also loves Dancing with the Stars, and she's the one that got me the ticket, so I went with her. She texted me, and she goes, you're gonna kill me. I just knew. She got the wrong uh, VIP tickets. I know, first world problems, I know, like trust me. It sounds like so bratty for me to say that. It's just like if you got your favorite Christmas gift and you're like looking forward to this and then it just gets ripped away two days before the show, you're gonna be upset. We were both so sad. She felt really bad, I felt really bad. I was like, you know, don't worry about it. I was mad for like a day and then I got over it. I was like, don't worry about it, like it was a mistake. Apparently like there was VIP where you can meet the cast and VIP where it's just like better seats. And she got the only the better seats one, not the meet and greet and she thought we got the meet and greet. So I was like, you know what, don't beat yourself up. It's fine, life goes on, we'll go to the show and we'll have fun. So before we go to the show, I looked up like this hashtag Dancing with the Stars uh, live or live tour or whatever. And I noticed that like people were taking pictures with the cast outside like near the tour buses. And I was like, oh, mom, we should just like wait outside after the show. So she's like, oh, that's actually perfect. So we went to the show. The show was amazing. It was really good. <laughs> oh my God. My mom has an ammonia and I definitely just got it. I got some footage from the show. You weren't really allowed to film, but I did it anyways. <laughs> I'll insert the footage here. The show was awesome, got some confetti. Also note that we're from New England and it is in the winter and it is freezing, freezing outside. So we stood outside for like 20 minutes and no one was coming. And we we're like, okay, it could take a little while. What are you gonna do? There was like seven, maybe like eight other girls. We started talking to these two other girls. One of them was definitely drunk. She was like my entertainment while waiting. She was like telling me her life story about her abroad trip in Italy. And I was like, okay, honey, okay, girl. So we waited outside probably like 40 minutes and we were like, all right, the tour buses are still here, but they're not coming. Everyone was still waiting. Um, I think maybe like two people left at that point. And then this guy walks in with like a suit and tie. Like he walks, not walks in because we were outside, walks by us and said, they're long gone guys and like walked away. And we were like, thanks for crushing my dreams in 0.2 seconds. And he just walked away. We didn't even have time to like say, what do you like, what do you mean? At that point, we waited like 10 more minutes, um, but we were confused because the tour buses were there. So I was like, but why? Like they have to leave sometime. Then we realized uh, the tour buses are still there because they don't go home that night. They were staying for another night. They had a show in the same city as I went to for two nights and I went to the first night show. So that's why the tour buses were still there. They weren't going to another like state or country or whatever, not country. They weren't going to another state or city um, until the next day. My mom was like, All right, they're not coming tonight, girl. Like we gotta go. It was really, really disappointing because I feel like we got our hopes up twice in that day. Help. 
focus for suckers. Oh, we're going VIP. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, we get to meet them afterwards. Oh, no, we're not. So my mom was like, let's just go back in the city tomorrow and wait by the buses again. We can just go into the city at like 8.30 and like wait for them at like 9.30 and um, see if they come. And I was like, that's actually a really good idea because they're actually leaving the next day so it's more likely they were gonna come out so we got up i looked like kind of crap i looked so much cuter the next day when i actually went to the show i actually looked like crap because i didn't think we were gonna meet them for some reason i was like yeah we'll go and my hair was like fluffy and like minimal makeup so we get there and there's a huge like gate and people like people were lined up and before the night before there was only like seven or eight so i was like oh that's a good sign there's actually people security guards and i was like they come in they come in. We lined up, we got like a pretty good spot um, and we waited probably for, oh, and this guy came out and was like, hey, um, so this could be two hours. Maybe some of them will come out, maybe they won't. And I was like, I don't think it's gonna be two hours, dude. I don't know, I just looked on Twitter and like looked on Instagram and everyone was like, they came out like an hour after the show, which is reasonable. When I was right. And yeah, he, I don't, it wasn't two hours. It was like an hour and um, we saw Derek Huff and his girlfriend Haley, who was in the show, and they walked by, they didn't come and acknowledge us. And they just like waved. Oh, also bumped into Derek Huff the day before when we went to the show when we were walking into the theater he walked right by us we were walking to the theater and he was walking this way and i was like mom it's derek huff i didn't know what to say and she just screams derek and i was like oh no and uh no guys we already met derek huff in california before i'll insert these pictures here but yeah so i was like i don't want to bother him asking for a picture again i already met him it's fine it's freezing cold so we're just like hi and he was like hey guys What's up? He's probably like, who are these bitches calling my name? But anyways, so the next day, I know I'm going back and forth. So Derek and his girlfriend, Haley, uh, walked by us. And then probably like 10, 15, 20 minutes later, Joe the Bachelor, grocery store Joe, I think. I don't watch The Bachelor, so I was like, I, I just know him from Dancing with the Stars, excuse me. Um, Gleb and... Artem came out. They went to the bus, but I don't know. I didn't feel like, like Derek and Haley weren't going to come back out, but the three boys did, so... Yeah, they started coming out and meeting everyone and they were coming to me and I was like, oh crap These like three attractive men are coming and I actually look like poop and I was like, I didn't think this through So that was the only bad thing. I'm still really excited. I got to meet them Okay, so Gleb came up to me first and I said hi and he like didn't say hi back and I was like, okay I don't know if he heard me. I'm really shy and awkward in person. So it's probably my fault I took the picture with Joe. Joe didn't say a word But yeah, I just said thank you and they said thank you and um, they went on their way and then Artem came over He was really nice we said hi good show we pretended like we were just at that show but we saw the show the day before i'm sure they did good oh and then brandon armstrong came in wicked nice guy i think he's new to the dancing with the stars cast this year yeah because i like wasn't that familiar with him he was really sweet and then whitney came over who is my favorite girl on dancing with the stars besides sharna love her the cutest backstory on that too we were in uh california for horror nights we saw whitney and her husband and uh milo manahan whatever his name is they walked right by us uh, they were like in a huge group and i was like there's no way i can't stop that huge group and be like can i take a picture i just felt weird didn't take a picture with them and i was really sad so i was really 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 excited that we saw whitney the sweetest like the sweetest cast member she actually like talked to us i'm like hi how are you we were like you did so good in the show she was like thank you my mom was like we saw you at horror night she was like isn't that the scariest thing we're like yeah girl we were shit in our pants too and like she was just the sweetest like she actually wanted to talk to us you could tell she was like thank you guys for like coming out and i was like you're welcome am i missing oh and then um so loved whitney and then emma and sasha came out with their little dog i was like oh my god amazing emma and sasha are both in the dancing with the stars cast and they're uh married cutest couple they were also super nice we said like you did so good in your show they're like, thank you so much. Like, thank you for coming out. Then we left. We got like pictures with, how many is that? Joe, Gleb, Artem, Emma, Sasha, Whitney, Brandon. We got pictures with seven of the cast members. I was extremely happy. I was like, for VIP going so wrong, like, that worked out really well. But then that night I got a horrible, horrible stomach bug. Literally shitting blood. Like, it was not good. Um, <laughs> And I was throwing up and it was nasty and I felt... Uh, like I haven't felt that bad in years. I thought I was dying, but I eventually it was fine But even though we got the wrong t tickets and waited for two hours in the cold We got our pictures with them. We met some amazing people from the cast. Yeah, so I'm so so thankful that I got to do this I'll insert the pictures here if you guys I'm sure you guys want to see the pictures. So I'll insert them here Why did I just do this?
so yeah that was how my live dancing with the stars vip experience kind of went wrong but turned out fine in the end yeah i hope you guys enjoy that kind of story time okay so this week's shout outs if you guys didn't know i'm doing shout outs now yay so this week's shout outs go to jessica lagresa lagreca lagreca i literally cannot pronounce last names i think it's jessica lagreca jessica you are awesome thank you for watching my videos my next shout out goes to mia sanchez mia sanchez Tia. I'll just screenshot it. But you are awesome, Mia. Thank you for watching my videos. And my last shout out goes to Mika Coca. Thank you, Mika Coca. I'm sure that's probably not your real name. But if it is, thank you for watching my channel. I love you guys. And if you want a shout out, just comment um, down below or you can message me on Instagram and request a shout out. I'm probably going to do three every week. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. So anyways, today I'm going to be reacting to Dance Mom Season 8. You heard me correct.